Hi, here we are again. It's week nine. And we're studying human reproduction. And by the way, the white spot on my nose is simply some salve I had on there because my cat woke me up by scratching me. She loves me. But uh, sometimes I sleep too soundly <laughs> and she bats my nose uh, until I finally wake up. All right. Human reproduction. We have to go back to the beginning of the course, put it into perspective. Remember we talked about asexual reproduction that in us we call mitosis and mitosis does some certain things for us. The definition however is that it reproduces the nucleus. It does not make cells. It reproduces the nucleus. The cells are made through cytokinesis when everything has replicated enough and there's enough for two cells, then the cell divides into two, and that is cytokinesis. They are not necessarily identical. They have the same DNA. But they also can differentiate into different kinds of cells. And so we are really excited nowadays about all the stem cell research we're doing. We do not need embryonic stem cells anymore. We can make stem cells happen without that. And so the controversy uh, about using embryonic stem cells for research in uh, biomedical disease research is gone. It's over. It doesn't exist anymore. A Japanese scientist figured out how to make any of your cells a stem cell. Now scientists are trying to figure out how to make them differentiate into different tissues and then how to make those tissues transplantable back into you so that you can have tissue transplants and organ transplants without rejection. Um, and so you would not need suppression of the immune system to have a transplant. It's very exciting research. In addition, uh, the other type of reproduction is sex. And sex involves meiosis. And we want to review what that is because Meiosis is, the, is a little different because it is a reduction of the number of chromosomes in a cell so that eggs and sperm are produced and all of you women get your eggs when you are essentially eight months in utero. When you're still a baby in your mother's womb you get about 250 to 300,000 eggs and then they start to die. At puberty they start to mature and you menstruate. And the menstrual cycle is the maturation, uh, involves the maturation of an egg and preparation of the uterine lining for implantation of a fertilized egg, which only happens about half the time when there's a fertilized egg. And most eggs don't get fertilized. They simply die and fade away. Okay, so in men, um, spermatogenesis, which is what we call meiosis in human men, occurs at puberty in the testes. And men produce billions of sperm every day. Now the magic uh, regarding this is that no two sperm are alike. And when you study meiosis, you can see that there are several ways, one of them primarily being crossing over, uh, that genes are recombined so that no two sperm will ever be alike. And when you think about it, it's pretty amazing that no two eggs are ever alike and no two sperm are ever alike. And that's what makes you unique. And it's a one heck of a lottery match. So you have to wonder how you came to be and how amazing it is that you are here and I am here and we were selected by chance or by providence. It's up to you to decide. I don't know the answer. I like to think that maybe there was a hand of providence in my birthing and in the siring of me but I don't really know. Anyway, 
it's quite amazing that I came to be because I could have been dead and somebody else may have been produced. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? It is. So let's take a look at a couple of other uh, items that I want you to look at. There are two videos uh, that you should look at and uh, they're pretty amazing and they will help you to understand how the human reproductive system works. All right, here we are again. Now the first video that I ask you to watch if you haven't done it already is Life's Greatest Miracle. It's a Nova video. Put myself back in there. And generally in a and one I ask students to watch at least the first 15 minutes of this because there's some excellent explanations of how crossing over happens and how each of your eggs or sperm becomes unique and that explains how you become unique. There are not two of you ever. There never will be. It is a casino game that is bigger than any casino ever made by humans. So in Life's Greatest Miracle there are uh, a good many uh, scenes and explanations of the human sexual process. And the second video I'd like you to watch is called What Happens During Sex? This video is really uh, an adjunct to the other one and I've, I've left my window here open fairly large so you can with both of these so you can get the uh, URL to look them up. In this particular video which is only eight and a half minutes long you get to see inside a woman's body using fiber optics I think you get to see ovulation happen and ejaculation and you get to see the emergence of the egg and its entourage of nurse cells as it proceeds down the fallopian tube towards the uterus with great pictures of the sperm trying to make their way to the egg and um, I think it's an excellent adjunct to life's greatest miracle because you look at uh, what is apparently uh, great detail uh, inside a human body that you can only get otherwise by verbal descriptions which are not adequate to show the amazing stuff that really goes on. So take a look at this also. And finally we will go to some animations by uh, McGraw-Hill, uh, some diagrams and label the anatomy of uh, the human reproductive systems, men and women, male and female, and we'll talk a little bit about some of the problems with hernias <laughs> that occur. It's dear to my heart since I had a hernia operation on an umbilical hernia uh, about a year ago, a little over a year ago now actually. Okay, so we'll be right back with that.